Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Chief Engineer Ravi Gupta. Today, we are going to talk about Speed Torque Controller. In today's video, we will try to learn that what is a Speed Torque Controller, what is the importance of having a Speed Torque Controller. After that, we will see how the Speed Torque Controller is locally operated, how it is remotely operated and how the speed talk controller is activated. After that, we will try to learn that how the local and remote control of a speed talk controller are interconnected. Friend, this is a part 3 of Ramo system in which I am explaining the speed talk controller. If you want to know about the copper dam purging and if you want to know about the Framo system line diagram and how the Framo work, then please do watch the part 1 and part 2. You can find the detail of part 1 and part 2 in the description. So before starting the video of today, I want to tell you those who are watching first time that Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which makes video like this which will be beneficial for examination, interview and for order. So please do like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Your one subscription give us a lot of encouragement. So please do subscribe and please do share our video in your social media platform such as Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp and please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So let's start the today video of Speed Talk Controller. So before talking about Speed Talk Controller, let's talk about its position. So this is the whole setup of a Framo pump. So what is a Framo? Framo is a type of a submersible pump. So a speed torque controller is mounted on a top plate of a deck plating. Now, what is the function of having a speed torque controller? So, its name is a self-explanatory. It say that it is a controller which controls the speed and torque of a hydraulic pump. How it is controlling? It is controlling the speed and torque by regulating the flow of high pressurized oil which is going to the hydraulic motor. Now as I have told you in my earlier video that this red indicate the high pressurized oil which is flowing to the hydraulic motor which is helping and acting as a prime mover for a pump and this yellow is the oil which is turning back to the system. So now you know this red oil which is flowing to the hydraulic motor is being controlled by this speed torque controller and it is basically controlling and regulating the flow of oil which is going to the hydraulic motor and it is situated where it is situated on a top plate of a main deck and it regulates the flow of oil so what key function does a speed torque controller do the first thing is that it help a precise pump control so what do i mean by precise pump control it means that it helps to vary the speed and torque of a pump by varying the amount of oil which is going to flow here to the hydraulic motor. Means the amount of oil which is going to flow to the hydraulic motor is being controlled by the speed torque controller. Now, it helps in the prevention of overloading. How? It will flow the that much amount of oil which is sufficient to balance the pump and the system pressure preventing the system to stall it help in optimization of a power consumption how now suppose we want to develop a pressure of 5 bar from this centrifugal pump so we need to provide that much amount of driving force so that this pump will develop a 5 bar pressure so that is been controlled by the speed torque controller that it will regulate the flow of hydraulic oil high pressure oil in such a way that this hydraulic motor will run in such a speed that the 5 bar pressure has been developed. So it helps in the energy efficiency optimization. And fourth, fifth is that it helps to provide the flexibility. How? Well, as you know that in cargo, we carry different type of cargo. Suppose we carry palm oil, which is very thick cargo. And sometimes we carry chemicals, which is very, very other type, having different viscosity, different density. So in order to pump all type of cargo, we need to vary the flow rate depending on the cargo type. That has been helped 
by regulating the flow of a hydraulic oil which is done by the speed torque controller so if anybody ask you in the examination that what is the importance of having speed torque controller so please tell all these four concepts now let's talk about the framo local control bar now what do you mean by local control bar now suppose and why do we need the local control valve the first thing is that the local control valve is a valve which is fitted on top of the stc which help to control the hydraulic motor locally from the stc here now how we will operate this local control valve and when we do need to operate the local control valve now suppose the remote operation of a stc is has gone bad because of some electronics fault so the pump we cannot leave it idle we cannot say the pump is faulty we will not use a pump in order to continue using this pump we can operate it locally by help of this local control valve now how we will do so basically this valve if we rotate it anti clockwise direction if we rotate it anti clockwise direction it will open and it will regulate the flow of a oil to the hydraulic motor now if we open it slowly slowly one by one turn one by one turn you can see that the pump will start to raise then what do we mean by raise it means that pump will start to build up more more pressure now if you want to stop what will do we will do the opposite we rotate it clockwise so what will happen the pump will speed will go down and if you rotate it rotate it a point it will fully close then pump speed will come down so that is the importance of having local control valve now so this local control valve what is they giving us it is giving us the flexibility to control from a local panel from local stand we can control the scc and we can use the pump which come handy during the stripping of a tank and during the tank cleaning now try to understand the remote operation now i have told you about the local control bar now this panel is basically provided in a ccr cargo control room in cargo control room basically when you want to operate the framo we will click this button and after that we will push the knob in this direction so what will happen the slowly slowly the pressure will start to build up of a pump this is the 100 bar this is 200 bar and this is here 300 bar so depending upon the requirement we will put the knob on that point where we want to put suppose we, i want to put 150 bar we will put the knob here suppose you want to put knob 200 you can put the knob here so we can see for different pump this is a 5 port knob this is 4 port knob this is a 3 star board knob of 3 star board knob 4 star board depending upon that we can put it so that help us give us the convenience of operating it remotely now how how this stc is getting activated this STC is getting activated by this control line. This control line is basically giving the signal to the speed torque controller that it need to allow the high pressure oil which is coming from a power pack to flow to the hydraulic motor. So the hydraulic signal between the hydraulic power unit and the STC is being transmitted by this control line and it give us the signal that you need to regulate the flow now one thing i want to tell you that this local control and the ccr control are interconnected it means that if we keep the local control in open condition if we keep the local control in open condition we cannot start the framo remotely and if we keep it in open condition we cannot start it from remotely and if you want to open the 
if you want to control locally then you have to put the knob there on full throttle what i want to tell you that suppose this is the local control knob and this is the remote control knob now suppose you want to operate this locally so what you will do you will put this knob to full throttle here giving signal here that okay you are good to go and then you can operate it from here operating anti clockwise opening and closing it clockwise this is one thing means if you want to do local control you have to put the knob here first on full throttle and then you can open and close depending upon your requirement now if you want to do remote control you have to fully close the knob you have to fully close this knob giving signal that it is out of the local control and then you can push this button for remote control and then you can put the knob slowly so depending upon your requirement you will not put the full throttle one more time i tell you that if you want to do the local control you have to push the knob to full throttle here after that if you want to open you can open it by anti clockwise and if you want to close you can close it by clockwise this is the local control now if you want to do remote control you have to first close this fully clockwise full close and then you have to push this button and then depending upon requirement 150 200 you can move the knob up and down of that pump so that is been written here that if you need to shut from local control you have to pull the lever up from the ccr this lever up from ccr and then you can rotate anti clockwise for operating and if you want to close you can rotate it opposite now if you want to remote control you have to close the local control valve to close this local control valve by rotating clockwise and then you can do it by pushing the start button and then raise the pump this is the internal diagram this is the local control valve which is also known as bypass valve this is venting arrangement this is pressure gauge this is the pressure reducing section this is the pressure reducing section this is the venturi and this is the pressure balancing valve the top part look like this manometer venting plug hydraulic valve coming from here one is coming entering out here compensator fix here pilot connection which is basically i told you this one this one this is how the stc look friend if you have learned something from this video then please do subscribe please do like and don't forget to share with your colleague thank you friend